black holes are undoubtedly among the most exciting objects we find in the gigantic expanses of the universe. These enormous gravity monsters, the most massive entities in the cosmos, are known for one characteristic in particular. They irretrievably swallow any form of information or matter that comes too close. Consequently, nothing that has passed the event horizon of a black hole can exit it again from the inside. For these true space monsters, there are still some unanswered questions for future research. Find out what the discovery of the most distant known black hole revealed and what other rare observations scientists have recently recorded in the cosmos in today's video. Excited about the strange discoveries and distinctive phenomena in the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you'll be motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. A secluded gravity monster. 13 billion light years away from our blue home planet and 800 million times bigger than our sun, the discovery of a gigantic black hole, which was announced a few years ago, should not only make high waves in the ranks of experts, because in fact, it's the most distant black hole that could be detected so far. The background history of the object is fascinating as well. The black hole in question was formed in an era when the universe had reached only 5% of its present age, just 690 million years after the birth of the cosmos. As exciting as the discovery may seem at first glance, it also poses some technical challenges for experts. First and foremost is the question of how all this mass could accumulate in such a short period of time. By galactic standards, the scientific object of interest, which has been given the somewhat unwieldy name J1342 plus 0928, adorns the center of a super bright disk of orbiting gas. Such an active galactic nucleus is called a quasar are by experts. The discovery of the distant, massive black hole at the center of the galaxy in question was due in turn to a detailed survey of large amounts of data collected by three different research institutions. Quasars are not only active galactic nuclei, but also the brightest objects in the universe. Some of these galactic centers emit light thousands of times stronger than that of a large galaxy. This is a characteristic that, as is well known, cannot be transferred to the properties of black holes because in fact, the gravity monsters do not emit any light at all. The light that radiates around the black hole is therefore caused by the accretion disk around the massive structure. As a reminder, an accretion disk is a rotating disk that is located around a central object. This disk incessantly transports matter in the direction of the center. Basically, accretion disks can consist of atomic gas, interstellar dust, or plasma. In the case of the black hole mentioned above, the swirling of gas and dust, which occurs at an enormous speed, creates immense friction. Although quasars are, as mentioned, the brightest entities in the cosmos, all quasars tracked down so far are so far away from our blue home planet that they cannot be seen with the naked eye. Consequently, special telescopes must be used to get a comprehensive look at the active galactic nuclei. However, Quasars are of unimpeachable importance to experts in the study of the early universe. The light emitted from them can be analyzed to obtain important information about the hydrogen it has passed through on its journey through the vast expanses of the universe. The black hole so far from us is also old enough to give us a glimpse of an exciting epoch in the early universe, known as reionization. The Reionization Epoch in simple terms, shortly after the Big Bang, the universe was a dark, hot cosmic primordial soup that was rapidly expanding. As the construct continued to expand, it eventually began to cool. As a result of this process, protons and neutrons began to combine to form ionized hydrogen atoms. In a phase that occurred some 240,000 to 300,000 years after the birth of the universe, these newly formed hydrogen atoms in turn attracted electrons, whereupon they fused to form neutral hydrogen, 
One could say this development also represented the galactic starting signal for the light. Since it was no longer scattered by free electrons, it could move freely through the cosmos. But it wasn't until the influence of gravity led to the formation of the first stars and galaxies in this hydrogen-filled construct that starlight also found its way into the universe. The current theories of experts assume that the neutral hydrogen was excited by the ultraviolet light of these newly formed stars and galaxies. This caused most of the hydrogen in the universe universe to re-ionize, meaning that it split into protons and electrons. That process, which experts call reionization, was completed about a billion years after the Big Bang. However, the exact time of this fundamental epoch and its details are extremely difficult to reconstruct today. This is where, once again, the remote black hole comes into play for scientists. The detailed study of the accretion disk light showed that a significant part of the space surrounding it was still composed of neutral hydrogen 690 million years after the birth of the universe. What does this mean in terms of the overall context? Reionization may have actually occurred at a much later stage than scientists had previously suspected. At the same time, the black hole in the active galactic nucleus is also overshadowed by some big question marks. The mass of the object can be compared to that of present-day supermassive black holes. Consequently, sufficient matter must have existed in the immediate vicinity of the remote black hole to provide the gravity monster with regular replenishment. The problem? Such a constellation is actually not consistent with current models of cosmic evolution. Therefore, the researchers hope now to track down still further comparable formations of this kind. If this is the case, it's also possible for the experts to collect extensive data about the early universe and to reconstruct the epoch of reionization in an insightful way. Therefore, the hopes of scientists and the capabilities of the measuring instruments of future generations are all the greater. Rare Stellar Passage what tremendous forces are at work in the gigantic expanses of the cosmos becomes clear to us once again when we take a look at that exciting event that some astronomers observed a short time ago. The close passage of a star at a still quite young planetary system. The star passing by the affected system caused significant turbulence in the dust disk there and ultimately dragged a long tail of gas and dust behind it. The event is of great interest because our solar system could have experienced such stellar passages in its past. Basically, stars are formed in the rarest cases individually. Mostly, several stars form in dense collections. As a result of this spatial constellation, it can happen that the celestial bodies in their early phase directly meet comparatively often. Such flybys are always associated with gravitational turbulence, which can fundamentally influence the further evolution of the young stars and not least their accompanying planets. Some scientific models say that such stellar passages in our solar system once changed the orbits of comets or possibly even the orbits of the outer planets. The problem with the precise analysis of stellar flybys is, above all, that experts only very rarely succeed in observing a stellar passage. All the more significant, therefore, is the case recently documented by a team from Canada's University of Victoria. The double star system, which the astronomers took thereby in view, bears the name Z Canis Majoris and is approximately 3,750 light years far away from our homeland planet. The special feature is that the system in question is still very young, with an age of 1 million years, and is still surrounded by a protoplanetary disk. In a certain area of this disk shaped accumulation of dust and gas, a filamentary protrusion was discovered some time ago, which caused great puzzlement among experts over a long period of time. The explanations ranged from the consequences of a molecular outflow to the effects of a trapped gas cloud. However, recent analysis by Canadian researchers using the ALMA and Very Large Array radio telescopes has revealed a previously overlooked detail. A small point of light about 4,700 astronomical units away located exactly on the extended axis of the mysterious outflow. Consequently, the newly discovered light source points to a completely different background scenario. It could be a young star that passed by Z Canis Majoris comparatively recently and stirred up the system properly. As a result of the gravitational turbulence caused by the passage, the passing star swept away some of the material from the protoplanetary disk. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the remote black hole and the findings associated with it? And what are your thoughts on the spectacular stellar passage? We're already curious about your comments.
Finally, take a look at the other videos on our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.